Hey guys, it's Carrie. Today I'm discussing how animals defend themselves. I'd really be interested to hear any of your comments. In the wild, lions, leopards, cheetahs use their claws to grab and hold. They use their teeth to kill, either by causing suffocation or by eating their prey alive. Fighting lions will often wrestle, standing high on their back legs and holding each other with their front paws. Death is usually from a bite through the spine. Leopards will sometimes grab and hold with their front paws and then use their back paws and claws to rip apart the abdomen of their prey. Hippopotamus, they don't just use their tusks, they will use their massive size, often using their head to bludgeon an enemy. Elephant, male elephants will use their tusks to duel against each other violently when competing for mates. They will also defend themselves and can hurt any animal that attacks them by trampling on them or hitting them with their large tusks. They are so big and strong that they can fight off almost anything. Mandrel, they have extremely long canine teeth that can be used for fighting. With reproduction, dominant or alpha male mandrels have the most mating success. Upon gaining alpha status, males develop larger testicles, redder faces and posteriors, more secretion from the chest glands and fatter sides and rumps. Canine teeth length also correlates with dominance and males are less likely to sire offspring when their canines are under 30 millimetres. Receptive females have sexual swellings on their posterior and the red facial coloration can communicate age and fertility. Males also appear to detect a female's reproductive state using the vomeronasal organ. Dominant males try to monopolise access to females by guarding their mates, which involves the male tending to and copulating with a female for days. The female signals her willingness to mate by positioning her posterior towards the male. Intercourse lasts no more than 60 seconds, with the male mounting the female using pelvic thrusts. Zebra, they have been known to kick each other to death. They have a nasty bite and have been known to kill lions. Chimpanzee, they use their strong bite and fangs to subdue an opponent. Using their strong muscles, they grapple, slam and wrestle their victims to the ground. They hit, kick, stomp, pull on fur and drag their victim. They will target a person's face, hands, feet and genitals. Oryx, their long horns come in handy for protection from predators which could be lions, leopards, hyenas. If threatened, the oryx displays a unique behaviour standing sideways to appear larger. If this fails to intimidate the enemy, they use their horns to defend or attack. Wolf, they usually bite the shoulders and flanks when attacking. While some pack members approach the prey from the rear, other wolves seize the prey by the nose. Hunting can be dangerous for a wolf. 
the antlers and the hooves of a large animal like a moose or a caribou can injure or kill an attacking wolf. A wolf will kill its prey by biting it in the neck area. It may also bite a large prey animal on the snout. The wolf might also bite smaller game such as sheep, foxes and beavers on the back. Fights between wolf packs usually occur when one pack trespasses into another pack's territory. As with many other antelope species, bongos turn and flee almost immediately when they feel threatened and can disappear quickly into the surrounding forest running with their horns laid back against their body to prevent them from getting tangled in vegetation. Wildebeest When fighting over mates, wildebeest will face one another on their knees, foreheads to the ground, ready for combat. The bulls move forward to strike each other, knocking heads and horns but rarely will become injured. They follow a series of ritualised actions bucking, snorting, pouring at the ground, fighting and grunting in a deep croaking manner. When a group of wildebeest is threatened they will come together and begin stomping the ground they also let out loud calls to make sure the herd knows that they are in danger. Bush baby, to get away, they can jump around two and a half meters. They have very strong and powerful back leg muscles, which is the heaviest part of the body. Hyena, they will line up like a kind of wall to keep intruders from reaching further into their territory and getting their cubs. Crocodile, they use their strong tail for protection. A crocodile's tail is powerful enough to slash the skin of other animals. Tail whipping is an effective protective response for many large reptiles. Being apex predators, their powerful bodies, strong jaws and immense speed and agility along with their stealth has led them to being one of the world's most apex predators in their natural environment. Their thick scaly skin is made up of armoured waterproof plates that protects them from potential predators and prevents their bodies from drying out. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.